everybody, welcome to Madden Science. We're looking at our bridge building top 10 tips, starting with plan and draft your bridge. This is likely the most important and time intensive step in the bridge building process. Albert Einstein probably said, if I had an hour to solve a problem, I'd spend 55 minutes thinking about the problem and five minutes thinking about the solution. And Abe Lincoln probably said, if I had six hours to chop down a tree, I'd spend the first four hours sharpening my ax. And Thomas Edison, who said, genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. Number two, research your bridge. Research both your specific bridge instructions and the bridge rubric, but also bridges in general. And number three, use two scale 0.5 centimeter graph paper. Check down below in the description, I've got a link with the 11 by 17 graph paper that we use. This way you can make your bridge to scale on paper, starting with the plan and draft of your sides and then connecting that together with the bottom and the top. Number four, use a ruler to make straight lines. This is vitally important. Additionally, remember that the wood you use takes up space. So if you have a 10 centimeter gap, you better make sure that you realize that this wood has its own width. Number five, measure twice, cut once. Or better yet, maybe measure three or four times and cut once. Measure twice, cut once. Number six, stack wood on wood. These bridges are a perfect example of just that. You want the force that's applied to your bridge to be applied directly to the wood and not be held up by glue. So if you had wood stacked like this, that'd be perfect. Wood that would be stacked like so and glued together is more likely to break or shear. You can see close up some of the designs that were used here and that will very likely be quite successful. Number seven, use geometry. We want to make sure that we have flush connections, proper angles, carefully placed notches, definitely want to use X cross supports to decrease torque. Go ahead and research back to truss bridges and arch bridges, and you can always solidify with triangles. Number eight, aim for symmetry and balance. Number nine, be willing to make mistakes and redo. And number 10, embrace the process and have fun. And now I asked my students what some of their insights and advice might be, and you can see that right here and also in a link in the description. And don't forget to comment below with some of the bridge building tips that you think might be helpful. Take care.